Hi everyone, it's Miss Skit here and we're going to be carrying on with our topic all about Chinese New Year this week. Okay, and today we're going to be looking more at the different things that they do to celebrate Chinese New Year. Let's just quickly think back to what we learned about Chinese New Year the other day. So, Chinese New Year was celebrated on Friday the 12th of February 2021 this year. And remember, the date of the new year changes each year because it follows a very old calendar which is linked to the phases of the moon. Chinese New Year is always celebrated in either January or February. So, why is Chinese New Year celebrated? Chinese New Year has been celebrated for more than 4,000 years. Can you say 4,000 years? Well done. And the festival lasts for 15 days. It celebrates the end of the long winter season and the earth coming back to life. So welcoming spring. And it marks the beginning of the growing cycle. The date of the Chinese New Year is different each year and could fall at the end of January or February. And remember, 2021 is the year of the ox. Can you say ox? Well done. So we're going to look a little bit more about the reunion dinner. We did learn about this on when we introduced Chinese New Year. But we're going to look at it a little bit more and the things that they ate to celebrate. So the reunion dinner is a very important event during Chinese New Year. It takes place on New Year's Eve. Families and friends gather together with some families travelling from far away to share in the celebrations. They have special food for the dinner and it takes a long time to prepare. Each family will have their own special dishes that are traditionally served at this time. So there are different things that they have for the reunion dinner, different types of food, okay? And each of the foods represents something, okay? So it means something to them, okay? So we're going to look at them one at a time. So the first one is shrimp. And shrimp represents plenty. Can you say plenty? fantastic and the next food is a whole fish and that represents togetherness can you say togetherness lovely the next one is some long green vegetables and that represents a good harvest can you say a good harvest well done chicken um, is the next picture and that represents for wealth so that means when they've got some money so wealth well done and the next thing they might have is some soup and that is for everything better than last year so this is a long thing to say can you say for everything better than last year fantastic then we've got noodles and that's for long life can you say long life amazing and the last one is dumplings for good luck can you say for good luck well done reception chinese dumplings are very popular in northern china they are one of the main dishes that people have for their new year's eve dinner dumplings represent wealth and good fortune. So wealth and good fortunes mean they're going to be rich, they're going to have money, and they're going to be they're going to be looked after. And they are shaped like ingots. Ingots. Can you say ingots? Well done. And gold ingots were used a long time ago as Chinese money. So dumplings are made by stuffing the filling into the dough wrappers. And this is an activity that they normally do as a family. The next thing they do to celebrate is having fireworks. And most families set off fireworks on New Year's Eve to celebrate. They are a big part of the festivities. 
okay and large firework displays are put on in cities and towns a lot like we have at bonfire night and new year's eve you'll see big firework displays chinese firecrackers are lit in front of houses and shops the loud cracking noises are thought to scare away evil spirits firecrackers are lit on streets during parades they are made out of gold and red shiny paper and are used as colourful decorations. Another thing that they do to celebrate is have parades and decorations. And many parades take place in the 15 days of Chinese New Year. Most decorations you will see during Chinese New Year will be red or gold. It is believed that these colours bring good luck and wealth. Lanterns are a very popular decoration and banners with messages of good luck are often placed above doorways. Our last thing we're looking at is dragon dancing and the dragon is meant to represent wisdom, power and wealth. Can you say wisdom? Well done. Power? and wealth and it's believed to scare away evil spirits lots of dancers hold the dragon up on poles a bit like a puppet they make dragon dance through the crowd often to set to the sound of a drum okay so they dance in the beat of the drum the dragon dance is an important part of the chinese new year's celebrations and people have lots of fun and they go and watch the dragon dancing in the streets at the festivals. Okay, and you can see on the picture the people holding up the dragon to make it move. You have been superstars today. I've really enjoyed learning all about Chinese New Year with you. My challenge for you today is can you draw a picture of maybe of something that you've learnt, it might be that you've drawn the picture of the ox because it's the year of the ox. Um, it might be you draw um, the family having a Chinese celebration or the different food that they have. Um, it might be that you draw the dragon dancing. It's totally up to you. And then can you tell a grown up in your house uh, something you have learnt about the Chinese New Year celebrations? Thank you so much for learning with me today. I have enjoyed it. You take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Don't forget, we would love to see what you have created and learnt about from today's topic lesson. You can get in touch with us by email, WhatsApp or on your daily walk. You could post it in the school post box. Thank you so much for learning with me again today, Reception. Have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. Bye.